Hey everyone and welcome to day two of our story time session. Now before we begin, yesterday I told you in yesterday's video that I'll be doing shoutouts now and it's become my favorite segment. So let's get right into the bookworm shoutouts. <music> Today's bookworm shoutout goes out to Jerry Blake from Atlanta and his two cousins from England, Jonathan and Jaden Blake. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And today's story was chosen specifically for you. So stay tuned. I really hope you enjoy. Now, if you would like a shoutout in tomorrow's video, all you have to do is send your picture, your name, your school's name, and your grade to this email address or to this telephone number. And stay tuned because you might be next. So, without further ado, let's get into the story time. Get comfortable, it's story time, bookworms. Today's story is Mystery on the Lego Express. Excited for today's story. Today's story is Mystery on the Lego Express, written by Sean King. But before we begin the story, take a look at the cover right here. Just take a second. Do you think you know what the story is going to be about? If you do, let's find out. Please hurry! Mr. Clue says to the taxi driver, he doesn't want to be late for his train. Today, he's going on a much needed vacation. Mr. Clue runs through the train station. His mouth waters when he smells the yummy food nearby. But there's no time for food. He needs to get on that train. Ooh, Mr. Clue sighs. He made it to the train just in time. The whistle sounds as the train pulls out of the train station. His vacation has officially started and it's time to relax. But as he closes his eyes to take a nap, Help! I've been robbed! I guess my vacation will have to wait, Mr. Clue says. A detective's work is never done. I can help, says Mr. Clue. I am the famous actress Marilyn Money, and someone has stolen my Golden Award statue, the woman cries. I see. Please tell me everything, says the clever detective. I was looking out the window at the beautiful view. When I turned around, my acting award statue was gone, the actress explains. Someone in this train car must have stolen it. It wasn't me. The boxer grows. I bet you did it. No way, the call girl yells. It was probably him. Everyone is arguing and pointing at one another. Mr. Clue had better solve this crime quickly before people get really upset. While all of the passengers are fighting, Mr. Clue gets to work. He uses his magnifying glass to check out the scene of the crime. The actress's seat offers a lot of clues. Every person in this train car left something at the scene of the crime. It would seem that all of you are suspects, says Mr. Clue. So tell me, why were each of you near the gold statue? I thought the award was one of my gold teeth. Then I remembered my gold teeth are in my mouth, said the boxer. I would never steal anything, except maybe a pony, said the cold girl. It was so pretty, I just wanted to hold it for a minute, but I put it back when I was done. I was just comparing her award to my trophy, and mine is bigger. Football rules! If I wanted a gold statue, I would just buy one. I'm really rich. Award statue? I thought it was another robot. I didn't take it. I thought it was an alien, but don't worry, it wasn't. What's that, Sonny? I can't I can't hear you. 
What a word! Give me back my newspaper, said an old man. But if all of you are innocent, then that leaves only one suspect, says Mr. Koo. Where's the farmer? Everyone turns just in time to see the farmer exit the train car. Stop in the name of the law, Mr. Koo shouts as he follows the farmer on top of the train. You need to return what you have taken. The wind and the train are so low, the farmer doesn't hear the detective. This is supposed to be my vacation, not another dangerous chase, Mr. Clue whispers as he moves carefully across the train. I do not like this at all. Not far away, the farmer begins to milk a cow. The detective sneaks up behind the farmer before shouting, You are under arrest, you thief! Huh? says the farmer, startled. He accidentally squirts milk into Mr. Clue's face. Sorry about that, mister, the farmer says. I came out here to milk my cows. I thought some cookies and milk would help everyone calm down. Did you ever find the statue? You mean, you don't have it? Asked Mr. Clue. Then where is it? Inside the train car, Marilyn Money looks inside her purse. Uh oh, she says. It appears the award was in my purse the whole time. It looks like you owe all of us an apology, demands the detective, covered in milk. The other passengers nod their heads in agreement. Now that the crime has been solved and all the excitement is over, Mr. Clue can finally take his nap and start his well-deserved vacation. The end. I don't know about you, but this story had me on my toes. I was nervous at one point because I really wanted to find out who could have taken the golden statue. But it's time for some fun facts. some fun facts. Fact number one. Did you know that a detective is a special police officer who investigates crimes and search for criminals? Interesting. So then that means that a suspect is anyone who is thought of to be guilty of a crime. Now do you remember in the story when Mr. Clue said that all of the passengers on the train were suspects because they each left an item beside where the statue was stolen. That means that at that point, he thought that they were all guilty or one of them were guilty of stealing the statue. That's why he called them suspects. Now, for my question of the day is, and I want you to answer down below in the comments, what would you do if you could have been a detective for a day? And why do you think Dr. Clue needed a magnifying glass? Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you tomorrow for another exciting story time. Bye!